Assalamualaikum dear students and welcome back to the Learn Daily Physics. So we've discussed. So let's see our table here. We make our flow chart in which we've studied. First, we've studied statistical mechanics, then classical statistical mechanics. We have a small review of Boltzmann statistics. We will discuss this in detail in our further lectures. So the remaining part was quantum statistical mechanics, which we are going to study today. In this, we will study Bose-Einstein statistics and what will be the bosons and Fermi direct statistics and then we will talk about the fermions what are they so let's go to the quantum statistic statistical mechanics so in quantum statistical mechanics we say that the particles are identical just like in a classical statistical mechanics the particles are identical but in this case they are indistinguishable we cannot distinguish them in classical statistical mechanics we can distinguish particles but in quantum statistical mechanics we cannot distinguish a particle for example in a system we have two particles so after some time t we cannot say that this particle was A and this particle was B. We cannot di in distinguish them. They are indistinguishable. They are similar. They are identical. We cannot say that this one was this and this one was this. So volume of the unit cell, the next postulate here is that the volume of the unit cell cannot be smaller than H cube. What does this mean? It means that the, when the volume of any unit cell or the when the vol volume of a state becomes smaller than the h cube, h is the Planck's constant here, and we know that the Planck's constant has a constant value. So when the volume of the unit cell goes to goes to the vo value of less than h cube, then our quantum statistical mechanics or our quantum mechanics fails to describe it okay so let's go to the next postulate i have i hope you understand this so the number of unit cells are nearly equal to the number of particles the next postulate is the number of unit cells in classical mechanics we've said that the number of particles are much much greater than the number of unit cells that the number of unit cells are less than number of particles but in this case in the quantum statistics we say that the number of unit cells and the number of particles are same are nearly equal so these were the part these was the postulate in quantum statistical mechanics and now we are going to word the types of or the parts of quantum statistical mechanics so in quantum statistical mechanics we have two parts we have two main parts and first one is a Bose-Einstein statistic and the second one is the Fermi Dirac statistics what is Bose-Einstein statistic let's see so the postulate of the Bose-Einstein statistic says that the identical number of particles can occupy a single cell Identical number of particles can have because uh, when we look on a bosons just like photon and a meson they have similar spin they have integral spin okay and uh, when we will see the Fermi Dirac you will have a more you can understand a way more better when you understand the Fermi Dirac statistics but let's have a look what is this identical number of particles for example we have let's say here 
we have identical number of particles and here the next postulate is any number of particles can occupy a single cell so let's say just like this as we've done before for classical statistics we do that we have two states state 1 and 2 we have state 1 and 2 and now this term this time our state our particle r identical but indistinguishable here in the classical this was the, this was the state i showed you in previous lecture of the classical statistical mechanics and here it was particles were a and b because they were distinguishable but in this case now particles are particles will be b a and as they are indistinguishable the other one will also be a okay so this time any number of particles can identical number of particles can occupy a single cell so this this first postulate says that a and a can be in the same state and a and a in the next can be in the same state here also okay and then a could be here and a could be here here we have total four states in the classical statistical mechanics we have total four states one two three and four this one this one this one and this one but in the case of classical statistical mechanics in the case of quantum statistical mechanics we have one two and three states so we can say that in the quantum statistical mechanics in the boson einstein statistical mechanics we have total three states for a single particle we have total three states in which three by two are bunched in a same state bunched in a same state a a and a a they are the two for out of three so three by two are bunched in same state so you understand that identical number of particles that a a can be together any number of particles can occupy a single cell that a a and a a could be here a a could be here a could be here, A could be here, any number of particles can occupy a single cell. When we, we will discuss the Fermi Dirac, you will understand that why in the Fermi Dirac these postulates don't apply there. Why they don't, and when we will understand that, you will get a more clear picture of this. So the particle with the integer spins, bosons are have integral spin. Uh, why bosons have integral spin? Because uh, their spin is of uh, positive, negative one, positive zero. Their spin is positive, negative one, zero, positive, negative two. Integers, integers, they have integers, so they can fit. And they don't have that uh, like in the fermions uh, in fermions we have a positive half spin and the positive negative half spin one is the positive half and the other one is negative half uh, so they have half integral spin when they have the half integral spin and the poly exclusion principles applies there and we cannot place a positive half with the positive Half. but in this case these are the integer integers so we can place as much as particles in a in a single cell so let's have a look on the fermi direct postulates of the fermi direct statistics in the fermi direct statistics particles are identical and indistinguishable 
just like because this is also a form of quantum statistics and in the quantum statistic particles are indistinguishable identical particles cannot occupy a single cell and this is the difference between boson einstein statistics and the fermi dirac statistics that in the boson any number of particles can occupy a single cell but in direct statistics or the fermi direct statistics you say identical particles cannot occupy a single cell so fermions have always is here we can say that the fermions have always half integer spin half integer spin half integral spin of the they have half integral spin so pauli's exclusion principle is applicable for example electron this is the example so as you look in the, in the case of electron pauli exclusion ex, exclusion principle when you apply the pauli exclusion principle that you say that the spin quantum number cannot uh, um, the atom cannot have the same spin quantum number in in one orbital for example that uh, one orbit orbit is having positive half spin then the other one will have negative half you cannot say that this one have positive half and again it will be a positive half the pauli exclusion principle says that uh, their spin quantum number should be different none of the quantum numbers can be same two uh, atoms don't have same quantum number they will differ in the quantum number so when we talk about the fermions protons electron protons and the neutrons are the fermions let's have a look on the fermion that when we talk about a proton what is a proton proton is a nuclear particle we know that it is present in the nucleus and uh, what, uh, what it is composed of so this is the main thing you have to understand that the proton is made up of quarks we cannot see quark individually we cannot see them uh, in independent in in nature and they are present in a proton they are present uh, with this with a strong binding force and we cannot see them independently so a quark is of two types up quark and the down quark okay the mainly the up quark and the down quark in the proton we have two up quarks two up quarks and one down quarks u u d but in the neutron we have the reverse case of this we have two down quark and one up quark this one is equals to plus half plus half up quarks mean they have the positive half and half spin and the down quark means they have the negative half spin so because of this positive half you can say that overall spin of this will be the positive half and then the neutron here have down down and down this will be have negative half negative half plus positive half and the overall charge will be the negative overall charge i am saying overall spin will be the half negative half so you can see here that this is positive half this is negative half proton and the neutron overall they will they, their spin will be conserved so i think you've understand what a fermion is just like electron electron have a positive half and spin also and the negative half spin but in the proton we have a positive half spin and in the neutron we have a negative half spin because they are composing of quarks and two up quarks here and two down quarks here and overall spin you can see you can understand what fermion is now you can understand you have a, a picture in your mind about fermions so this was the topic about the postulates of fermi direct statistics so in our next lecture we will discuss about the boltzmann
factor what is boltzmann factor what is the boltzmann maxwell boltzmann distribution function what is partition function and how we calculate and enthalpy and entropy we've discussed this in our uh, in our previous lectures of thermodynamics but entropy and enthalpy is now we are going now with the boltzmann factor boltzmann distribution factor we are going to discuss about the partition factor now then from our partition function we will discuss that what is how we are going to extract entropy enthalpy pressure temperature and all of these uh, states state functions from that partition function so till then assalamu alaikum and thank you very much for your time